Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. Katie on camera again. Say hello, Katie. Hello. And today we are talking false pineapples. You commis. Was that right, Katie? Might be. Might be. You commis. Um, I should know how to say these things in that, but there we are. Anyway, they're false pineapples. These grow in quite cold temperatures. They're not too bad. In the south of the UK, you can grow them outside no problem. And they're so tropical. When they're in flower, the flowers are yellow. Therefore, the name. They look like false pineapples sprouting out of these big old leaf things. And they, they come from quite a large corm under the ground. Um, and if you plant them down about six inches, um, they should avoid all the frosts. And they die back to nothing in the winter and then come up with these beautiful displays for the summer. And what we're going to be doing is we are going to be propagating from these by taking leaf cuttings. Leaf cuttings, wow! Let's give it a go. Never done it before. I've grown these from seed and they take a long time to grow from seed. These are about four years old. Um, so we're going to try some leaf cuttings. For this we will need a cutting mix. Now a cutting mix consists of two things. We've got some gritty sand here, like that. Katie, show the people. Gritty sand. And we've also got some, this is um, an old grow bag. This is from a hanging basket last year. It has no nutrition in it. It's peat free, but it's got that sort of fibrous thing. But the main thing we want is no nutrition. You don't want nutrition in your cutting mix because we are trying to encourage this to grow roots. With nutrition readily available, the plant will think, well, I don't need to grow roots. I can just suck this nutrition straight up. When it's looking for nutrition, if there's a lack of it, it will put out roots to look for it. So that's why we do it. And we're going to give this a little bit of a sieve with our reasonably fine grained sieve. There you go, if you want to have a look at that. And then I'm going to use these for something else, never throw anything away. And then we're going to mix all this up so it's the same colour. And this will be a lovely thing. What are we having for tea tonight, Katie? Oh, we're going for a barbecue, aren't we? Oh, are they doing food? Yeah, they are, lovely. That's something to look forward to on an August evening. Right, there we go. There's our cutting mix. Now, I'm going to put that cutting mix into a pot this big, and I've got another pot this big that I'm going to use to make a little tent over it. When you're taking a cutting from anything, you are taking away that plant's ability to drink because you've cut it from the root, so it will not be able to drink. So the moment you cut that off, that plant is going to start dehydrating and it won't be able to rehydrate itself until it's grown roots. So we have to try and maintain that moisture content within the leaf until it actually has the power to um, suck up water itself through its roots. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. First thing we're going to do is fill up our smaller pot like this with our cutting mix that looks lovely and tap it down and always leave that gap at the top, like that. Give it a little bit of a press, and there we go, all right? And now I'm gonna put that pot, well, four sticks here, I'm gonna put that pot in this one, like this. And then around here, I'm gonna stick our four bits of bamboo. Can you see where I'm going here? Because we're gonna make a little tent for this. It'll be like its own little greenhouse. This will retain the moisture and, um, give it a better chance of growing roots. There we are, so that's there like that. Now, we're going to secure a plastic bag over there with a rubber band, but first we're going to take our cuttings. So Katie, if you would like to spin in and show, let's have a look at a leaf. I'm gonna take this leaf here, so I'm just gonna snip like that. Nice sharp pair of scissors, that's all we need. And now, something that is essential here, you have to remember which way up it is. You can't just cut these things off as you go. So I generally do them as I go, so I know which one's gonna be at the bottom. So I've got one there, and we're gonna make a little bit of a hole for that to go in. Can you see that? You just pop them in there like that. That's it, just stick them in. And another one here. Cut it about that line, like that. You can always do this with just a craft knife and put it down somewhere nicely. There we go, I'm gonna pop him in there like that. Now, I've never done this before, so I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna give it a go, because, um, hey, that's what gardening's all about, isn't it? It's experimenting. Right, and I've got my last one in here. I'm only gonna put three in here, because I don't want to overcrowd it, and I don't want there to be any mold occurring. There we go, right, so. That looks nice enough. There we are, now I'm gonna give it a little bit of a water. I'm gonna use that leaf to do some more cuttings in a minute. So, let's get a bit of water, and, uh, just wet that out in a bit. This water is also going to be 
evaporating and creating a little misty um, place for these, uh, for these leaves to sit. So that's also going to stop them from dehydrating. All leaves have got little holes underneath their leaf. You can't see them. And this is how the leaf breathes. It breathes in the carbon dioxide and it breathes out the oxygen. Um, so these are the things that we're trying to protect. With this misty atmosphere, it will be so humid in here, none of the water will come out of the leaf and it will start growing some leaves. Right, so there we are. I'm going to pop the little bag over it. I will label this as well because, as we all know, things can just be uh, forgotten. There we go, there's our bag that isn't really fitting very well. Yes, it is. There we go, like that. And I'll get the rubber band and put it under the bottom. And now I'm going to check this about every couple of days just to check that the, um, that the uh, leaves aren't going mouldy or anything. It's good to air it every now and again because otherwise you can get mould build up. And uh, what are you smiling at? Because I'm struggling. It's because I'm struggling. This is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. The only way I can keep um, Katie as happy is by uh, watching me struggle at anything in life, really. Um, oh, the leaves, but the, the things popped out of the top there, so that's no good. Oh. Anyway, you get the idea. We're gonna go back, I'm gonna put another bag on that and try not to break the bag as it goes through. Um, but we're gonna come back to that in a, in a couple of weeks and we're gonna see what's happened. I might try a few in water as well, just in water. Um, but there we are, another experiment to do, and uh, let's see how it goes. Anyway, this has been Robbie Phoenix, down at Stinky Ditch Nursery, with Katie on camera, um, smiling at me when everything goes wrong. Thank you for watching.